Howdy folks, so today I'm going to be uh Okay, I just uh, pulled the bucket shims out here and marked where they are. This is the LHS left-hand side. Now I'm going to flip it over and start, uh, well, chamber matching, I suppose. I got my metal cutting tools here. What are they called? I don't even know. Carbide tip metal cutting tools for the uh, die grinder here. I got this, you know, $40 Home Depot special, Husky. I like their stuff. You know, this is my first time doing this. So I'm gonna be removing material from like here. I actually have the head gasket here, the STI head gasket, I'm about to unwrap and overlay it. Um, and then I actually have here, um, what number is this? This is a E25 cylinder head from some STI, but basically I'm gonna be trying to make this one look like this one and the difference is the diameter of the bore this is something like 99 and a half millimeters across and this one's like 92 so I'll be opening this up um, so that it looks more like this I'm gonna be leaving the valves in it so that I don't accidentally hit a valve seat um, which is, you know, this part right here, this is where the valve rests. You, I wouldn't want to nick that. That would, that would be bad. And so I'm going to leave the valves in for this first part. And, uh, yeah, I got my marker here. I'm going to trace on basically the, the size difference between EJ20 head and EJ25 head. Do that now. Can you see the black line? I need to take off that much material. Okay, I got my die grinder here all set up. Um, this is the tool I'm going to start with first. I've been told brushing out the, the tool bit here will help make it last. I got some oil here. I got a little uh, metal brush. All right, well, you saw how much I just did. Um, just want to show you how cool I look right now. I uh, realized this bit's throwing a lot of oil off, so didn't really have anything to protect myself, but I found a trash bag. So now I won't get my shirt all oily. I'm not sure if anyone else will try and do this besides me ever, but um, probably because it beats the hell out of paying to ship it and then paying 400 bucks to have it done and really you know like there's really not that much material that needs to be taken off because you don't take off any of this um but what i noticed is is that when i press this head gasket in make sure it's lined up on the inside i'm actually not taking material all the way to the gasket there's still a little bit a little edge there same on this side um, and there's actually more of a lip on the on the outside So I won't actually be taking material up off up to the gasket edge. I'll be leaving um, Just a, a little bit there all the way around So that is good to know I shouldn't take it and this is where I'm at so far I've kind of nicked both intake and exhaust valves, which is fine the exhaust valves I have I may have to get some intake valves uh, new intake valves. Got one side done. Um, I think. Okay, I just did. Let's point to it. This side here. And um, it went much faster. Um, 
Yeah, it took about five minutes. So it's not perfect, but you know, I think that I'm going to get 90%. Now let's say 80% of the benefit it as if I were to have to take taking it to you know like ASF machine or something like that. I could be totally wrong, but um, I'm basically removing that huge obstruction, which was the extra material in there. So that's all I'm really going for is just opening these up a little bit. They're not going to be exactly the same each one, but they're going to be really, really close because the shape of this kind of like part of the cylinder head kind of dictates what you can and what you can't do in terms of taking material out of here. So um, using the head gasket as my guide and kind of, uh, you know, this other cylinder head, you know, I'm just going to do the best I can. And, and right now you can see this one kind of like goes straight down. Whereas this one, I kind of have it like cupped in right now. So, you know, I want to keep the compression ratio as high as possible. So I'm going to, I don't want to take out that much material. I want to take out enough that I can take off the sharp edge. Um, you know, the, the overhanging material, but I don't want to take out too much that I'm dropping the compression ratio significantly. Okay, I got my cool glasses today. Um, this is day two. I kind of knocked off early yesterday, but I want to show something I just looked at. Um, when I go across here, really like the functional diameter is something closer like 90, uh, 97 millimeters. The cylinder may have a bore of 99 and a half millimeters, but the cylinder head here is more like 97. Um, I'm getting close here to what I need. I'm at about 95 and a half, if you can see that. All right, I'm going to show you how I'm doing the uh, chamber matching here. Anyways, you could see the black Sharpie lines um, right here and here. So I'm getting close. Okay, so you could see here on, this is the STI cylinder head with the STI, STI gasket. You can see how much overhang there is here, like two millimeters or something. And then on the inside, it's like a millimeter. So when I put it on this one, is that right? Looks right. You can see I still have a little bit to go here um, on the inside, but it's getting close. On the outside, it's getting close also, but I still need a little bit of material. I've, I noticed that, um, I think I said this in a previous clip, but across here is 97 millimeters, even though the I know the cylinder bore is like 99. So that's what I'm going for. I'm going for 97 millimeters across um, diameter. 